Hey folks, welcome to 1500ESPN.com. I'm senior editor Derek Wetmore. He's beat guy Andrew Kramer. We're out here at Winter Park. Andrew, the big news of the day, the talker is Kevin Williams. The cheap shot he took in the third uh, preseason game on Sunday. What are you hearing from players and Coach Leslie Frazier about that hit? Well, three players talked about that today, and they were pretty vocal about it. Uh, Jared Allen came out after practice today and was firing on all cylinders, saying, you know, the league can find me. This is absurd. Uh, you know, the fact that this guy, you know, because there's still whether or not this guy's going to get fined or not. Uh, he, he was he was very, very vocal about the fact that this should be an automatic fine. He and Chad Greenway both uh, uh, talked about how they feel there's a double standard. And keep in mind, both guys were fined. Uh, last year for hits. So both guys have, you know, informed opinions about this. They had said, we are very, you know, angry that they feel there's a double standard on it. Imagine if it were us hitting a quarterback that way. They're saying they're saying there's no way that wouldn't have been fine. So they feel there's a double standard about that. Desmond Bishop even voiced up and when asked about it and said, you know what, there's no place on a football field for that play. Leslie Frazier said the same thing. Uh, it, Frazier said he talked to the league about it actually too. And so it seems like the league is on their side saying this is a, you know, there's no place at all for this. So it'll be interesting to see what they do uh, when they when coming down on Joe Looney. Sure. The other piece of news today that came out of it, uh, practice today was the Jerome Felton suspension. Yep. Well, we learned that this is coming from an incident that happened over 14 months ago. And a yep. little bit interesting timing. Uh, tell me the positives and negatives for the Vikings in that regard. Well, really the negatives are obviously the fact that they already had him out for the preseason. They thought he was going to be back week one after uh, going under an emergency appendectomy. Uh, that's tough enough to come back from, especially when you're you know, a football player, let alone just a regular citizen. But anyway, with Felton, the negative is you're not going to have him for three weeks. Maybe they roll with a Zach line who's impressed in the preseason. Maybe they just keep Rhett Ellison, who's been the tight end that comes back uh, and starts fullback as well sometimes when they do actually start one. Um, because half the time they still play double tight end sets. So maybe they just play more of that now they don't have the fullback. The positive is if Felton would have been suspended right away, uh, in 2012, after that incident, they wouldn't have had the Pro Bowl fullback last year. They, they probably wouldn't have given him a shot because he would have been suspended. They would have cut him. They would have let him go. Now the, the, the tail end of that is you pony up, give him a three-year, $7.5 million deal. Now he can't play for you for the first three games. So it's a double-edged sword, but there are some positives to it. Sure. Now, finally, the Vikings wrap up the preseason with game number four against the Titans at home on Thursday. What are you expecting to see out of that game? Not many starters play at all. I talked to Matt Khalil today. He said, I don't expect to play a snap. So that means the offensive line is not going to be playing much. That means Christian Ponder is not going to be playing much. So it'll be interesting to see how much Greg Jennings plays. Uh, I doubt he plays much. So look for Cordero Patterson. Look for the Desmond Bishops. Look for guys that need something to prove out there to actually get it done. Great. Andrew, thanks for your time. Thanks a lot.